Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. So today we're going further into the bowels of the digital world. Oh, there's another one of those things down here. Great fun for the whole family. Oh, here we come. Oh, oh Elfmon's turned on me. Oh, we're poisoned. Oh, Elfmon's poisoned. Don't think Alphamon can be poisoned, to be fair. But she can try. Oh, who are we teaming up with Alphamon? Nope, Metal let him on, yay! Whee! <laughs> that wasn't that great. I think it's gonna slip on a banana somehow, but we can try. Go on, Alphamon. Uh, that'll do, I suppose. So yeah, last week we beat, or not last week, last episode we beat um, Paladin Mode, Imperial Jamon, and then finally got the last Digimon that I needed. So I officially now have completed the Digidex. Aren't I amazing? I shouldn't do much against it, does it? Okay, it's having another go. Huge crystal, oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, that's quite funny when it falls down like that. Power energy free. Well, that was good, that one. Whatever. Oh, teaming up again. Yay! Oh my god, Master Mom wants to learn Hell Crusher free, go for it. Imperial Mom Paladin Boy wants to learn Holy Light free. Have you learned any other Holy Lights before? Yep, yeah, we did. Get rid of that one then. Cool. You gonna go away? Oh my god, that amazing transition. From being there to not being there. <laughs> I don't know why this place sounds like we're walking on glass as well. But what can you do? You can't get the uh, stuff in the digital world. Build you floors that don't sound like broken glass. Please say it's not exactly the same thing again down here. It's definitely something. Nope, yep, the same thing again. Just to keep the gameplay refreshing and new. Come on then. Almost there. I kind of regret putting away the crazy penetrating people, but... Oh well. Ooh. Yay, you go guys. What? I don't know how it did that little damage. I guess maybe this one has really good defense. I think it did use a guard charge, didn't it, just now? Oh, we're fighting with Yuko this time, apparently. Maybe it just randomizes who you've got. They're basically the same as a triple attack. I don't get into this game sometimes. And rubbish. Well done. It missed, even though the waterfall clearly went straight on top of it. Riddle me that. Oh no. We're almost close to taking damage.
Uh, my comet hammer, see what that's like. Oh, that was alright. Took less time to do as well. Basically as good as the other one. Yeah, okay, hit it with that. That was pretty good. Most away dead now, guys. Not much longer. Let's try a banana slip, see if it's any better. Slightly. Flame. Go on, do something good. That'll do. So nearly there now. Just don't hit her one. Oh, you bum face. Okay, and then you got it. And then on to probably the next one of these. Ah. Awesome. Oh, oh no, no one maxed out, okay. Suddenly cut to being in front of it again. Fantastic. Oh my god, I think it's actually another one of the same thing. This is so stupid. <sighs> Let's switch up the team because they're running out of stuff. The other guys probably would be reasonably decent at fighting this, but I'm just worried that they're not high enough level yet. If only I could be bothered to train these guys properly, then they'd probably be better. There it is, that name again, that name again, it's random thing. Let's go. Pretty good. This team seems to be hitting a bit harder. So this one, I imagine maybe they have different attributes, these things. So the last one was a defendy one, now this is a speedy one, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm just making it up, I'm just assuming too much of this game's ability to be creative. To be fair, yesterday collecting all the Digimon and like grinding them up as tedious as it seemed. I actually did quite enjoy getting them all and being, like, zipping in and out of forms to become something new. But beyond the kind of thrill of getting them all and being like, oh, look, I got them all. I've not really enjoyed this game particularly for a while now. As I'm sure you've noted. Oh my god, just get on with it. Can I rupture your brain, please, and move on with my life? Oh, 
Okay, hopefully we can kill this quite quickly, even though it gets a million turns. That's annoying. Oh, that's a cool attack. If only we had more things and we're on in the line. Oh, actually, we get one in a little bit. Whatever. We nearly got it now. Hopefully, we can get it in a second here when we get a big chain. Normally one might finish it off if he does a good attack. He did! Yay! Doodly doo boo ba bla ba doob. Lovely. Oh, he wants to learn Gale Storm too. Nope. Problem solved. Hopefully there's not any more. Often things come in sets of three. Yeah, I think that is the last one because there's not another big chamber coming. There's something behind that wall though. It's going all over the place. I'm running a straight line, Mermaid. Right oh, hopefully when we come around here, that, yeah, that's the end of the area. Cool. Oh! Yay, an Eden thing. Go to the Digilab for a quick heal. We'll have a quick save because we made it to the bottom of here. I don't want to fight those monsters again if we die. Let's go. Anything around here? Not really. God, it's weird. I feel like Devimon. What do you think, Merman? Can you make it? Oh, I've got to try and connect jump into it, don't I? I think it's impossible as things are now. Activity is being suppressed by a large number of eaters. Movement seems to be greatly restricted. Their fighting strength is an unknown quantity, but unknown means we compare favourably for now. That said, they look like they're ready for us. Then let's attack! Be careful not to hurt my brother. Come on then, guys. Um... Oh. If this is the only form of it, it's not very good, considering we're doing that much damage to it. It's easier than the bloody thing we just fought a minute ago. Operation. It's gonna play Operation with us! Our worst enemy. Power energy, go! That can't be the whole thing. Well, it seems we've done a number on it. Now, uh, no, how's this, Merman? I'll leave the task of saving Yugo to you. Please, Merman, rescue Yugo. Please save our good friend. Come on, then, in I go. Uh oh. 
Huh? Merman. Oh, I'm starting to screw up. There he is. We're running away. Come back. You go. I've missed you. I've been so lonely. You came for me. I'm so happy. Happy, happy. Hurry up. I want to see you all. No. Are you going to punch me as well if I save him? I was looking for everyone, looking this whole time. I finally found you. I don't want to be myself anymore. I want to go home, go home, go home. No, that's not it. Bit of a multiple personality disorder going on here, I think. Why did you run away and leave me? Did you not like me? Is that why I'm locked in here? Don't listen to that voice. I hate you all. All of you just go away. All of you just die. Don't listen to my voice. Somebody find me. Somebody help me. Help, 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 help. Uh-oh. He's crazy. Oh, he's now a person. You mustn't come here. Eh? Uh-oh. Merman, you you go, you go. Arata, Yuko, and Nokia too. We did it! It's really Yugo for real. Hey, Yugo! Long time no see. Yugo, I'm so glad. I'm I'm so glad. Listen to me, guys. If we don't do something, if we don't do something, the world as we know it will be utterly consumed by the eaters. What do you mean by that? I was fully absorbed, imprisoned by them, and I became part of their shared data network. One of my roles was to pr suppress their activity. Suppress their activity? Yes, I tried to keep their rate of erosion down. They have nothing we would call awareness. They store and share data, and by influencing each other, are building a single unified consciousness. Each individual eater acts as a single part of one group consciousness. And being used that unified... Oh, and using that unified consciousness network, you were able to appear here and here, there in cyberspace. That's how you showed yourself before Merman and the others. By using the Eaters as a terminal, yes, but I wasn't authorized to send my thoughts. All I could do was send fragments of my memories as data, over and over again. I had plenty of limitations, but in the end it all managed to work out. The mental data of the humans incorporated by the Eater is stored within the network, all of it. Whoa, then that means... If Yugo isn't part of the network anymore, the erosion speed will increase without limit and we might lose all the stored mental data. Even so, as a condition for evolution, it's necessary for the creation of a new world. Swado. The loss of even the smallest world, the birth of even the smallest grief cannot be allowed. I will bring all to this new world. Hugo, you have suffered and grieved enough. You must be released from those shackles. <gasps> Thank you, Merman, for rescuing him. Only you, if your skills could have done it, you are a miracle of the old world. However, do not allow yourself to be surprised. In the new world, miracles like that will be commonplace. Well, you can walk on nothing. Swayo, what are you up to? I will take Hugo's place in the group consciousness. <gasps> Huh? What I mean is, I will become the Eater's Consciousness myself, their sole driving will, and... With King Drasil's omnipotent calculations and the Eater's high dimen... No, ultra-dimensional data transmission functionality, my will shall use these things to bring forth a new world. Uh-oh. He's crazy. Oh. Is he going to try and kill me? And be hard to beat this time? Uh oh, the Colossus is awake. Find his weak point. Oh, he's got wings. That's pretty.
Creepy people got Swado's face. Anyway, we're going to end this episode here and we will come back next time to me dealing with this big monster thing. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you did, like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>